Good evening everyone, or good afternoon, wherever you may be. I uh, hope everyone's doing well, and welcome to our stream again. Kalizo is already woken up and ready to go. Um, and yeah, we're going to explore the back half. I hope this time around we have a bit of a, a better connection. I'm not uh, too sure about that, because uh, I see a bit of a red light there, so that bodes uh, not so well. But oh well, we'll see how it goes, and... Uh, We'll troubleshoot from there, but because of that, uh, I had some issues in the previous uh, couple of weeks now. Uh, I did opt to only stream to YouTube right now, so hopefully that will improve it a bit. But if not, then I'll need to uh, figure out what the heck's going on exactly. Anyway, uh, welcome the Pirate Gamer Boy, welcome Moving Shadow, great to have you guys. Uh, there's no beer tonight. Uh, downstairs told me that uh, it wouldn't be a good idea, so <laughs> I, I'd best uh, heed them warnings. Uh, so it's just tea for today, and uh, tea is great. Uh, honestly, you know, probably for the better anyway. Because uh, beer is beer, and it's alcohol. Best to avoid it as much as possible. Are you gonna be a nuisance today, Griso, or are you gonna be a good kitty? I think I need to. Uh, I, I think I need to pay him off up front this time. Oh well. <laughs> let's uh, let's get that done. It's fine by me. Uh, if I can open it, if I if I can't, then uh, then there will be uh, no no treats, no treats for you. We're in luck, I think. I think. Yeah, yeah. I'm opening it. See? Yeah. Get it yourself. There you go. <laughs> yeah, he tends to be a good kitty. Although, uh, I gave him a... Uh, uh, he had a new mouse toy with uh, catnip. Uh, I gave him, which was free with uh, an order I did. Um, and he didn't care for it much. Although, he did care for it, but uh, only at 3.30 uh, in the night. <laughs> he decided that that was a good time to, uh, uh, to start playing with the damn thing. <laughs> uh, but oh well, that's, uh, that is what it is. <laughs> uh, let's... Uh... Yeah, I'm still seeing red, so that's, uh, that's, that's not good. I hope the connection will hold. Uh, we're going to just uh, see what happens. I mean, it's just Famicom game, so what, what can possibly uh, go wrong, right? Um, and, but yeah, something on my computer is apparently making the connection a bit bad. Uh, anyway, last time we uh, went over the small little handheld thingy. Uh, or Well, not handheld. Um, but the... Uh, the small red sonic like thing uh, so this time around we are going to continue uh, on this thing and I think we left off at 91 uh, which was uh, the space invaders thing uh, hey there Jason awesome to have you on uh, yes yeah, space ET that was space invaders so we'll move on for uh, toward the next one uh, Star Force and we'll see where we go. I think this is the same one we saw on the other device, but there it was actually bugged um, So let's see how this uh, this one does as, as crappy as the cable is for this one at least the game seem much more stable on this device as the uh, other device and <laughs> Because the cable is so short. I need to uh, Kind of sit a bit uncomfortably here uh, And yeah, it, it this now it seems to play just fine. Oh crap. Like uh, last time we had the screen that just made these uh, these weird warp things. And now it actually works. And uh, um, I forgot, was this, is this an actual Famicom game? I think it is. Um, it's still not the best shoot em up. But uh, oh well. Yeah, the NES does have better shoot em ups. Uh, does this thing even have power-ups? I, uh, I don't seem to last long enough. Oh, there we are. Oh, no, we don't. <laughs> I don't seem to last long enough to actually uh, um, uh, get some. Whoop. 
Ah, it's a Hudson Soft game, huh? Okay. Uh... Hey there, Acedonia. Who's an arcade port even? I, uh, I've never seen the arcade game, I don't think. But uh, yeah, on this one it does play alright. Uh, on the on the other one, yeah, it kept working. Uh, MSX has a lot of pretty cool. Um, oh, there are power ups. There's a pretty library of uh, a lot of shoot 'em ups, um, especially on uh, the MSX2. There's a bunch of really really cool. Uh, shoot 'em ups. Uh, MSX1 also has a bunch of cool ones. Uh, Electric Adventure uh, just recently did a video on 1942 on the uh, MSX1, which actually plays. Oh crap! Didn't see the shot there. <laughs> which actually plays really well um, on the MSX1, uh, despite you know the the obvious issue with the scrolling that it has. Um, but it seems very playable. Uh, anyway, yeah, we know uh, we know this one. This this plays all right. Um, of course, we are looking for the actual utter crap on these devices. Uh, there's no Guardian Legend on this thing, man. You're already spoiling <laughs> the greats that are not on here. Guardian Legend is pretty cool. Um, although uh, I find it a pretty hard game. Uh, Stargate uh, sounds cool. Although I never was really into the uh, Stargate series, uh, like the the sci-fi show, uh, this looks like a Defender clone, which uh, is probably then Defender Two. I'm not sure if there was ever a Defender One, the first one on the uh, on the NES. Yeah, Defender 2, huh? This plays really pretty well. Yeah, this is this is probably just Defender 2, but uh, a hacked version. Don't don't kill my people. Uh, I always have. Uh, I I, I kind of like Defender, but I always find it uh, very difficult to um, keep an eye on the radar and actually the the play field. What were these things? Um, so I don't tend to be very good at Defender at all, but uh, you know, it, it is a fine uh, arcade game. Yeah, I, I think only Defender 2 came out on the NES, um, Jason. Uh, that is what I seem to remember. Uh, but yeah, I, I, I never played much of it either. Um, mostly Defender on... Whoa. Well, some versions were called Stargate. Awesome, cool. Did not know that at all. But, uh, you know, uh, a lot of the uh, Famicom games I'm not very familiar with at all. Uh, you know, even uh, even with the NES games, I'm not completely familiar with the entire library. Uh, and But this place, uh, this place really well. Uh, this is, uh, this is... <laughs> uh, this is so much nicer to play than that uh, that little D-pad thing we played on uh, on Wednesday, which was a complete crap out because you just slide uh, around. Uh, I I think I have Defender for the 2600 uh, as well. I'm not entirely sure. Uh, no clue where my uh, collection of Limited collection, by the way, of uh, 2600 games are, but I'm pretty sure there was Defender on that, which is a pretty solid uh, port, you know, for the capabilities of the system. Uh, it did pretty well. Uh, I also have a uh, unlicensed uh, uh, port uh, for uh, CDI in the Golden All these games. There are some uh, arcade inspired games on CDI, uh, and one of them is Defender, uh, which isn't that great. Oh no! Where you go? Yeah, Fantasy Zone. Yeah, I guess it's better, but it came a bit later. Uh, quite a few years, I think, actually. Where are you going, Grizo? 
yeah, this uh, Stargate plays, uh, plays pretty well. But yeah, Fantasy Zone, uh, really, really bright and colorful. Um, it's, it's such a shame that there's not so many uh, like of these devices for Sega games. I would love to see more of those, you know, where you get a bunch of Master System and uh, Game Gear games. Uh, that'd be awesome, because uh, th those things get a bit... They, they don't get enough love. <laughs> Although I don't know, I'm not sure if uh, what, what they did to these games you can say uh, is love. Uh, hey there, man. Uh, watch watch re uh, replay a retro. Welcome to the stream, and uh, great to have you on. Uh, and I hope you enjoy it. And no worries, uh, you know this this thing is for watching, uh, not necessarily chatting. Although it's always uh, appreciated. Uh, this is just normal uh, normal. Stuff. Tennis, uh, I guess. Yeah, usually those bootlegs, um, those bootlegs of, of Genesis systems, they use, uh, yeah, the sound it is absolutely terrible on those devices. Um, that was a great, uh, great surf set. Oh man. <laughs> there we go, finally. Uh, this is the CPU playing, right? <laughs> Felicia, what did you do? You, did, you pressed the right mouse button. Ah, damn it. <laughs> uh, man, I haven't played this uh, in a long time. Hey there, awesome Panda LPs. Great to have you again. Uh... This is a pretty solid uh, t early tennis 8-bit uh, game, I think. Uh, it, it, it's just very playable, like uh, many of the earlier tennis games. Uh, they, they didn't... Um, like, they were very sluggish for some reason. Ah, man. Uh, intended to focus a bit more... Um, to, uh, you know, they tried to make the graphics a bit too nice to... Oh, crap. To deviate from, uh, you know, the, the, the Pong experience. Uh, and CDI has a tennis game, but um, I'm, I'm actually okay with uh, CDI's uh, uh, International Tennis Open. Uh, although it is definitely presentation over playability. I'm... I am really crappy uh, at this. Um, and is the referee here? Is that supposed to be Mario? <laughs> was, that, uh, was that the thing? Or was that only in uh, Punch Out? At least the uh, CPU is also crappy enough to actually. Yeah, well, how did I do that? <laughs> uh, I, I'm I'm pretty open to uh, international tennis open on CDI. I mean, it's 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 <laughs> it's uh, it's it's not as. Uh, you know, it's no Super Tennis, that's for sure, uh, on the SNES, which was probably my favorite tennis game back in the day. Um, also because that was... Uh... But it looked pretty awesome, and it played, for CDI terms, pretty decent, and there is a two-play version of that game, so that's uh, also pretty nice. Out, that, no, not out, uh, foul. <laughs> And another foul. Uh, I am uh, not great at tennis. Next game. Uh, never uh, never played the uh, Virtual Boy in it entirely. I mean, I'm blind enough as this, so <laughs> probably for the better. Uh, no, but that thing is also super uh, rare to find over here and freaking expensive. Um, Urban Champion is uh, also an S NES game. Let's see if it's on here, actually. I never liked this game much, um, so I never really um, know how to actually play this either. And I never cared much for this, but you know, this was a very early NES game. But uh, yeah, there was fighting games on the NES. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, this is just uh, just Urban Legend. 
but yeah, I never, I never figured out how to properly play this one. And mostly because I just never really cared for it much. Uh, Spar is Spar the hacked version with the uh, with the animals? And it has this uh, this this really uh, old NES uh, audio kind of thing, like these 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 tunes. They are so you know uh, very uh, reminiscent of the early days of the NES. Um, but they're very basic. But cool. Yeah, I think I have uh, spar on one of those uh, older um, uh, playlists of the little plug and play things. Yeah, let's just uh, move on. Uh, not the best fighting game ever. <laughs> uh, but maybe that's just me not knowing how to actually play the thing. Uh, where were we? Uh, They are charming in their own way, I do agree. Um, Warpman. Uh, Warpman, that's also an actual game, isn't it? I think... No, uh, no, I don't... I don't know this. <laughs> I do think it's an actual game. No, what, what, what was I thinking about? What? Oh, Jet Set Man, that's... Uh, Jet Set Man, that's the one I was thinking of. I don't know this game at all. It has a... Um, it has a bit of a dig up feel to it, like in the looks at least. Not sure uh, it's from the same dudes. Who made Dig Duck? Was that Namco? Namco, right? Oh, yeah. Ah, see? <laughs> It's, it's kind of funny how you can sometimes recognize things that they are uh, kind of similar. Yeah, that was the same thing I was thinking, Jason, like Solar Jetman. That was what I thought uh, as well. Um, which is a game I am real terrible at as well, because the gravity in that, that can really screw you up. Not that I'm doing great at this one. <laughs> uh, and Jet Set... Uh, uh. Ah, okay. Go in the black hole as it flashes. Good to remember. Uh, let's see if I can test it out. Uh, never played this one. Was this also an arcade uh, port? Solar Jetman, I think, is the only NES game I have complete in the box. <laughs> uh, not even sure how I got it. I think someone just gave it to me, you know, like... Uh, you collect NES games, right? Uh, or, well, games in general. What's this? Uh, what now? Where are we? Oh, now we got the sort of Bomberman idea? Did they... Uh, did he steal my bomb and then blow himself up uh, anyway? Yeah, all my NES games are uh, are loose, uh, which I don't actually mind with the NES uh, library. It's uh, it's it's kind of interesting, you know. With uh, with Mega Drive, for example, I really can't stand if I don't have the box for it. Um, like those clamshell boxes, they are just kind of a must for me. Um, but for NES, because I don't know, they are just cardboard and so hard to get. Uh, so then I don't don't mind And I have some Famicom games, but none in the box uh, Do I have any SNES boxes? No, I don't think so. I don't have It's, it's just you know and real funny but like some systems you just want the box and you want it to be complete like the disk systems for sir for certain uh, you, you want the boxes. 
You just don't want a, a folder just of games, you know. Some people have that where they... Uh, uh, sometimes you see a decent deal on, on a game library, they just put it in a folder. And uh, uh, like a, uh, a little... Uh, uh, what are those things called? Um, like a bag full of discs. Uh, and I always pass up on those, I just can't. Like my PS1 games need to be in the in the in the cool European boxes. I mean, I I do kind of like the European boxes. Uh, the uh, they look nice on the shelf. What can I say? Wow, that's uh, that's a lot of dudes in one try. Uh, this this game is uh, pretty fun. Kind of like it. Never uh, never knew this one. Uh, I tried to go left, but uh, the dude had the other. <laughs> I mean, that's also what you can collect, of course, and put it on the shelf, and it looks awesome, but if they're all scratch and don't work, <laughs> uh, yeah, um, I always hate it when you get, uh, especially PS1 games for some reason, they are the worst when it comes to uh, buying them used. I'm not sure what, 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 what kids did to those things, but uh, some of those discs just are destroyed. GR Kung Fu, that's also one we played uh, on the other device. Uh, and uh, this uh, wasn't the best uh, version of this game. But this plays well. Compared to the other one at least. Can I not kick? A and B are just. Oh, wait. There we are. Yeah, that's for sure. <laughs> Always check the discs before you. Uh... Sometimes they're not even in the freaking things and they still sell it. And I, I just don't know what it is, but. Uh... Like like uh, PS2, a lot of kids also had PS2, for example, and for some reason PS2 discs tend to be in a lot better condition than uh, than PS1. Those things, I don't know, man. And and generally speaking, CDI is very uh, very safe to buy secondhand because no one played the damn things, so they're all pristine. <laughs> Uh, Zippy Race is, I think, uh, a hack of F1, right? Nope, got that wrong. Uh, is this an actual game? Uh, how do I... How do I actually... Ear Kung Fu. I, uh, I I like the arcade version and Ear Kung Fu on um, uh, the Commodore 64. I actually really like. I don't know how uh, the acceleration is really crap in this. <laughs> Uh, no, Mech Rider is from the back, right? I think. Mech Rider, isn't that that uh, uh, post apocalyptic um, motorcycling from the back? Also, kind of an odd game, but uh, yeah, more like. Uh, 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 damn it, I forget the name now from Sega. <laughs> Oh man, it's the, the, the brain fog starts, starts early. The official part of this one has an LED light in it. What's that for? It's kind of has a spy hunter feel to it, but uh, not as great. <laughs> Kind of a cross between Spy Hunter and uh, Road Fighter, I suppose. Man, can you please get out of the way? 
Uh, for those tuning in for the first time and not uh, were sorry for any any Ooh. for uh, the de interlacing problems, uh, things look a bit weird. That's uh, because I cannot find, for the life of me, a good way that uh, to interlace this thing or any of those plug and play things. Uh, never played too much of uh, Mag Rider because uh, I never cared much for it. So I'm. Um, hmm. If I remember right, the music was okay. Um, but yeah, it probably can't stand up against like something like uh, Red Racer, which is pretty cool. Uh, Warehouse Boy, what's this? Is that the Boxel thing? Yeah, this this looks like one of those uh, unlicensed games here. What's with uh, is this uh, is this thing or is the mapper just messed up? Yeah, Super Hang On. That's the name of the uh, the game I was thinking about from Sega. Uh, it looks it looks Russian enough. Yeah, here we go. Wow, this is a very basic box or thing. Uh, but uh, they already start on uh, a pretty uh, difficult thing here. Uh, did I already mess it up? I mean, uh, this is not... Wow, this is really slow. <laughs> Holy crap. It randomly plays music while you put a crate on there. Uh, okay. Uh, oh no, I uh, I messed up. I messed up. Uh, and you have to reset the whole thing, huh? Uh, yeah, let's uh, let's move on to a different. Well, I should I should check out what happens. Um. Every button seems to reset, by the way, so that's an easy mistake to make in this one, where you just happily go along, accidentally press the button, and do it again. Uh, yeah, and it's kind of surprising that CDI did not have a version of this. How, how am I supposed to do this? Uh, I guess... No, I'm, I'm guessing wrong. Uh... Should have started from the top, I suppose. Wow. First level, huh? There we go. CDI would have been uh, capable of something like this, and, you know, it, it would have done nicely. Uh, Could have done something more with the graphics and just give it some reason to to be there, uh, you know. But I didn't. <laughs> I do kind of like these games, uh, you know, just as a puzzle game. I mean, I preferred it over crossword puzzles, that's for sure. <laughs> Uh, but uh, they they can get so tough real quick, and in this version it's kind of annoying that uh, um, that you know there is no back button. If you mess up, you have to do the whole thing all over again. And even for level one, look at how long this takes. It's it's too slow. But yeah, it's a dandy. Uh, you did say dandy, right? Like the Russian console. Uh, I'm not actually sure. Did that have a lot of exclusives? Or did they just uh, let the Chinese uh, make all the stuff and, and just take those? <laughs> I'm saying dandy, but is, is it dandy or tandy?
those uh, those original consoles are pretty hard to find as well uh, Chocoban, yes, that's the actual name. Uh, I mostly know this uh, as Boxel as the first game I did. Well, at least it celebrates when you win something. <laughs> and now for level one. Uh, I think we've seen enough of this one. Uh, it, it, yeah, it's um, not even a bit of a tune underneath there. There are some some decent uh, puzzle games on uh, on the NES. Uh, I really like uh, Fire and Ice and uh, Kickle Cubicle. Uh, who did those? Was that Irem? Uh, I think Irem. 1942. Well, we've seen this one last time as well. Let's check it out if they got the music right. <laughs> I mean, I do like this port of uh, 1942. It it plays well. It, uh, it's just one you need to uh, play on mute. Was Sapphire Nice from Tecmo? Okay. They. Uh, and it was Solomon's Key, which uh, which was pretty decent, although it got real tough real quick as well. But yeah, Kick of Cubicle is probably one of my favorite NES games. Uh, really one I still go back to now and then. What does the turbo button do in this? Oh, pretty, uh, doing pretty good work. Yeah, I, I, I like this uh, version of 1942, but uh, yeah, just the audio is kind of meh. Really something where the Commodore people actually uh, enhance it a lot, but it doesn't play nearly as well as this version, that's for sure. And the arcade version, you know, didn't have great music to start with. It was pretty much flips and blots. And, uh, not sure what they were really going for, but... Yeah, in the gameplay department, the 64 version kind of sucks, but it has awesome music. Uh, and, and that's half the reason why you play Commodore 64. <laughs> um, yeah, not, not the bad, most playable of games on the system, because there's just not enough room you know, on the screen. It's too, too cramped. Uh, I, uh, I, I have not very much experience with the Famicom Disk System. I do have one, but uh, uh, it, it kind of broke, unfortunately. Here we have uh, Arkanoid, which is probably just a normal Arkanoid, which is a decentish game, but um, not one I have very much experience with. I mean. Um, Back in the day, it was all about Betty on the C64 for me. <laughs> but this one, of course, actually hails from the uh, uh, the arcades. Uh, my pub that did actually have uh, Arkanoid, so... Uh, you know, or well... Uh, the pub my parents ha used to hang out. <laughs> yeah, Tough Game, uh, game Player is uh, uh, attributed on a lot of... The games on this systems for some reason, and I'm not sure what uh, what tough game player was uh, all about. Uh, their their website seems to be defunct, uh, so no clue what they uh, they actually were about. I I'm kind of thinking they were probably like, uh, you know, kind of a soldier boy before soldier boy, <laughs> uh, just reselling Chinese things and making very cheap hacks. Go. 
Man, you really need uh, uh, a pedal for this kind of game, don't you? Uh, although, to be fair, this, this does control pretty good with the D-pad like this. Also, probably a game where not having the best D-pads isn't too detrimental. Um, oh man, I hate when they do that. Uh, but yeah, the ball speeds up a bit too fast. <laughs> for my, uh, for me to keep up. And, you know, you always get to the point where there's only one or two blocks remaining. And uh, it, it's just a pain to actually hit those. <laughs> I did once... Uh, oh, crap. How oh, did I miss that? Uh, play through the entirety of... I think it was actually uh, Arkanoid 2, though. Not the first one. Where were we? Uh, Astro... Astro Robo Saga? Doesn't say me anything. This doesn't... This looks like an early uh, Famicom game, but not one I don't know. Oh, okay, so you used the, uh, Rupa Boogie. Man, this, this will be a bit hard. Ah, I, I kind of like the, uh, concept of this one. I have never played this. Uh, it, it seems really hard to get to used to, uh, how this steers, because you really need to use... The momentum. Oh, do I need to collect the dudes under the balloon? Is it a cow? Ooh. What happened? Oh, it was uh, the end of the level. Please uh, don't go behind the uh, computer there. Not sure what your plans are here. Probably nothing good. Oops. Is there a timer? You need to be fast too. No, we are in the next level. Uh, okay. Now we are hitting barrels? Man, this is so hard to control. Uh, no, we don't. No, we just... Ooh. Ouch. Do I need to hit those things? There we go, we, we, we might get somewhere, yet. <laughs> uh, yeah, and thanks for all the tips, uh, clearly I need him. <laughs> but I see moving stuff, I shoot moving stuff. <laughs> Man, that, those things take a lot of hits. <laughs> Whoa, damn it. <laughs> And we're dead. And only one life, I guess. Uh, I do like this one. Never seen it. Uh, we'll, uh, we'll need to check this one out more. Groovy little uh, game over tune there. <laughs> Always nice when uh, when they 
aren't too sad when you have lost all the lives. Uh, B wing, what's B wing? B wings, okay. Another one uh, for <laughs> they didn't even spell www right. <laughs> Uh, is it also a shoot them up? Looks like it. Uh, multi sounds like a good thing. Yeah, spread shot. Why not? Oh, whoa, 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 where did my thing go? Don't press B. Don't press B because uh, your, your power ups go away. Well, whoa, 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 what's the point on that one? Hammer is the best one? Okay, so we will uh, check out the hammer after this one. Looks like a uh, fairly basic shoot map, but uh, what the heck is that? Alright, what's this? Is this flame? I guess? Oh crap. Yeah, the B button uh, kind of <laughs> kind of made me lose my power up. What what's the point of that one? Is it the hard button? You know, maybe hard mode. Let's, uh, let's try hammer here. Oh wow, it's a shield and shot in one. Feels um. Uh... Can you pile up? Probably not, right? Nah, I'm not gonna risk it. Um, it feels like you should move a bit faster than you actually are. Is there a way to actually uh, speed up your plane like in Gradius? Because it feels a bit too sluggish for... Uh, especially um, like when, when they are shooting at you. You know, sometimes, uh, sometimes shoot them up to be like that. And to be fair, the shots don't seem to be that fast. Ah, cool. Whoa, that's a lot of stuff. Data East had some uh, uh, pretty decent games as well, also a lot of... Uh, Misses. <laughs> you know, you can't argue with the bad dudes, can you? <laughs> oh, that thing takes a lot of hits. Am I even damaging it? Because nothing really happens. Well, it sounds like it. It's making the noise, so... There we go. We did a thing. Um, what I uh, when I think Data East and NES, um, for, for some reason I always think about Time Lord because it was an NES game I had and uh, you know the music in that was pretty good uh, uh, so for some reason I always think back to that time theme whenever I see uh, Data East in combination with NES not the best game otherwise though um, but there's also worst but I never actually beat that one it's quite hard <laughs> uh, badminton can't be much different than tennis, right? Can be either a boy or a girl, like that matters. Especially with these sprites. Uh, yeah, sure, we'll be gay. Ooh, this is not uh, perspective from this kind of game. Was 
Wasn't that Data East? Time Lord? There, finally I shot something. Apparently, record sports are definitely not uh, my my cup of tea. <laughs> uh, also, not in uh, in real life, by the way. I never was good in uh, any record sports. Um, you know, couldn't even see the ball coming, so that that's for one. <laughs> uh, never actually tried much of badminton. Jump? No, right? Yeah, it is. Huh. Doesn't work. Do much work for me. Ah. Man, I'm terrible at this. Yeah, badminton has uh, isn't a ball; it's a shuttle thing. Uh, otherwise, it's pretty much the same rules, I think. But just the physics are so different uh, in playing badminton compared to tennis that it is, I guess, a pretty different experience. Uh, yeah, I don't like badminton. <laughs> but yeah, it has this this kind of shuttle thing where this, the the top is a bit of a rubbery thingy, and then it has uh, like sort of a, a round flight, you know, what in a dart you would call a flight, but it's circular uh, around it, and you hit the the rubbery bit, and then it kind of floats to the other side. <laughs> But it's not necessarily a uh, slow sport, uh, although it's no squash. Uh, bolt. I'm not sure if it's popular anywhere. Um, <laughs> it it really is. I think everywhere kind of a niche sport. Uh, Boltron. Sounds cool. Man, there's a lot of Famicom games we run into that I have never played. Uh, Nothing, okay. Can we also go the other way? No, can't speed up. No, I'm not actually sure what the real name is for the shuttle thing. Uh, <laughs> Snooker, it's uh, yeah, it's a pretty, it's a pretty cool game. Although I think um, I think I prefer nine ball to be honest. But uh, snooker is pretty okay. Uh, I mean, all pool games are kind of cool. I think, uh, although you know, it's simple. Uh, I'm not sure what's the actual name with just the three balls. Is that just billiards? It's kind of dumb. <laughs> And it kind of makes sense if badminton is a bit less uh, physically demanding, uh, but yeah, the, the shuttle it it can never go as fast as a uh, a ball that you smash to the other side. Uh, of course, there's uh, things like squash that totally blow it out. It was squash is a pretty demanding sport, I think.
Snooker is, I think, mostly popular in uh, the UK. Uh, also not too popular over here. Um, as, a, as a sport, like uh, uh, any pool isn't very popular over here. It's mostly seen as more of a recreational uh, activity, you know, in the pub. Um, you know, kind of on the same level as, as darts for... Uh, for that matter, I guess. So uh, it's it's kind of hard also here to find an actual snooker table because they are longer. Uh, that uh, was a pretty good game, although it, a bit basic. Must be a very early game, I uh, imagine. Uh, and what's that new tennis-like game? I I, I forgot. Um, there, there is something. There is a tennis kind of game that's very pop. It's getting very popular over here, and I forgot the name. Also seems quite demanding. Uh, kind of like a um, cross between squash and actual tennis, but where you actually cross the net, and it seems very harsh. Uh, boku, boku, boku. Boku Suda Wars? Uh, oh wait, I, uh, I think I remember this one. Yeah, this is this weird game, I think, that I uh, also don't know how to really... Yeah. Um, man, how, how did this go? You need to, uh, like, kill stuff and you get stronger, but I think it is a kind of... a lot of luck involved with this one. Yeah, I... You kind of need to be lucky, and if you uh, are lucky, you survive, you get a bit stronger, and eventually you need to uh, kill the Demon King or something. I forgot. Uh, and there's probably a hierarchy to the... Yeah, you lose. Great. There's probably a hierarchy to the uh, to the enemies. Uh, but I never got, uh, got this one uh, down. Yeah, the visuals aren't great, and it, yeah, the interlacing issue is pretty bad here as well. Um. Yeah, I never, never really understood how to play this well. And hey, it's actually one that I do uh, know for once. I think there's also a way to recruit these dudes to your cause, or is that just? Your power increasing. Yeah, screw this game. <laughs> Mighty Bomb Jack. Uh, never been too great on uh, on Bomb Jack. Uh, Commodore 64 version is pretty decent as well. Uh, and this is, uh, you know, was this? This was never in the arcade, right? Hey there, Ben. How are you doing? Pretty well uh, over here. Uh, how do I open this? Ah, there we go. I'm not negative on uh, on Mighty Bomb Jack. I'm just I don't I don't really have uh, you know much of nostalgia for it and. The original Bomb Jack I didn't really uh, care too much for. Um, and yeah, since I didn't like uh, the actual, the first Bomb Jack, I never played much of this. Uh, this just, you know, not my cup of tea. I was too greedy. Classic set. <laughs> But yeah, the arcade game, I uh, didn't care much for it either, uh, like the stand bomb jack. Couldn't even uh, pass the first level. Huh? So 
a lot of enemies. Oh crap, what did I do? What, what, what did we do? Yeah, once again, I have no clue what the heck I'm doing. But, we still live. That's good. But, uh, why am I blue now? <laughs> it's a bit crowded there. Oh, you can despawn them. Okay. Always good to know. Oh no! <laughs> uh, yeah, not very good at this one either, I suppose. Will we ever find a game Seb is actually good at? <laughs> Probably some, some guessing game is my guess, you know. Uh, Perhaps we uh, we find a, uh, a a bingo game or something. I can probably uh, beat that. <laughs> Porter, testing what? Porter, what is Porter? Uh, is the stream stable now? Yeah, I see green light. Hmm. Okay, good, good. Uh, this also looks uh, like a Sokoban. Uh, yeah. Uh, and this plays much, much faster. And it has a uh, much better introduction as well. Yeah, Ben, I'm not entirely sure what's up. Um, I'm not actually sure what's up, but I seem to have still some connection issues. Um, so I really need to have a look at uh, how I can fix that, because I'm not sure what's up with that. I mean, I have pretty fast internet speeds, that should not be a problem, but the, um, the connection signal seems to go all over the place. Although now it seems to be stable, uh, now it, 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 it keeps being green, but uh, yeah, before it was going red, orange, yellow, green, yellow, green, yellow, red. <laughs> uh, so I'm, I'm not sure what's up. and. Um, uh, it might also take a while for chat to actually show up for a cheap chat, uh, the program I use to actually get the uh, things over. Um, so what I actually thinking of doing is um, also, you know, if I stop Twitch altogether because, I, I don't know, it seems little point in actually broadcasting to Twitch. Uh, probably more problems than uh, issues than it's worth uh, so what I can do is then also integrate the chat um, from YouTube directly into the video so that at least will show up fast although it will take a bit longer for me to actually hear the chat still uh, should we cheer up this does sound familiar should we cheer up it it does sound familiar, but... Uh... Whoa! That's true, you can't raid me then. <laughs> Let's have a lollipop. Oh, okay. Oh, it's a, it's a scrolling thing. Okay. Do I need to collect everything? Or? Oh, you can jump down. <laughs> When's the last time you uh, you actually streamed, uh, Ben? I think I I have you followed, but I haven't seen you. Let's 
it's a uh, looks like a basic game. Not good. What the heck? What's with the controls? Hey there, Ed. Great to see you. We are uh, we are doing pretty good playing some games. Of course, uh, I'm not doing great because uh, I have no clue what I am doing in half of these games. I think. Where do I go now? Oh, we go on. Yeah, I know what that's like, Ben. <laughs> Unfortunately, that uh, that sometimes uh, life be like that. But uh, yeah, take your time. There's never. Uh... There are more important things in life than uh, than video producing and streaming and such. Uh... This game is a bit meh. Just a bit too slow for my liking, I think. How do you even get past? Can I still shoot? No, I can't shoot. The dog is in the way. Get up. Yeah. And now I can fly. Why? Why? There must be one of those things. Uh, what happened? <laughs> uh, yeah, not 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 my favorite uh, of uh, today. That's for sure. Man, where's the actual unlicensed stuff? Uh, well, we found uh, only only box of things. Sokoban uh, uh, game so far. <laughs> um, destroy. That sounds weird. Oh wait, this is Wrecking Crew. Wrecking Crew, but with... Uh... Uh, I can show you F1 race in just a minute, uh, add no problem. It's kind of like pole position. And yeah, this is Wrecking Crew. I like Wrecking Crew. Fun game, uh, and it is one of the earlier games with a, uh, a construction mode, which is also always pretty cool. You know, uh, early um, where you can make your own levels. Um, but you know, the originals with Mario. But now we've got this dude. Uh, where do I go now? It's been a while since I played this. I thought you just had to destroy all the stuff, right? Oh wait, it. No, not that part. Oh, the the yeah. Now I I remember the stairs, right? There we go. Yeah. Thank you, Pirate Game Boy. Now the door would be the logical thing. There we go. Yeah, I quite like uh, uh, Wrecking Crew. These are different levels, so they didn't only... Are they? Are they? No, these are the normal levels. I think this is also in the original. That you can screw yourself up uh, in some levels later on. It, it's a pretty cool game. Later, guys. Some catchy tunes. Yeah, this is the original uh, level layout. I don't know, uh, uh, Panda LPs. It's 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 so it's so weird with these kind of systems. Like they don't care about licenses, and then they just put in uh, uh, hacks. Just for the heck of it. <laughs> oh boy, fireballs. And sometimes they just include the same game twice. Once hacked, once not hacked. 
But yeah, finally we found a game I actually know. Uh, anyway, uh, just uh, for Ed, let's quickly just have a little go at F1 race. Um, F1 race is a Famicom game. I, I, I do have the actual card. And uh, yeah, it's very much like pole position kind of thing. Very basic. But, you know. Oh. Shift, sap, sip, shift, shift. <laughs> uh, but it's it's pretty cool for uh, for what it is. There we go. Uh, already not going to make it now. And this this game is hacked a lot. I do have a actual Famicom. A, a, a Famicom and uh, with the Famicom disk system, although my disk system, as I said, is, uh, is broken. I think the belt uh, just broke down. So not too much of an issue to eventually fix. Uh, but yeah, I also have a Famicom and uh, I, do, I do really like the looks of the Famicom. I, I love that design uh, with, the, uh, with the white and the red. It just looks really cool. Much much more, you know, looks much cooler than that uh, that block that we got, the gray uh, block. <laughs> Size over uh, actual substance there, huh? Um, yeah, Ed, uh, the, the absolute realistic damage model. Touch something and you blow the heck up. Gig Duck to Gig Duck. Sure. <laughs> Well, they didn't bother to misspell it on the actual title screen. <laughs> uh, also one I know, but I'm not very familiar with. Um, let's see, how did we do this again? What was the object? I think you just connect all these things, right? Uh, can we? Yeah, you can blow them up. Do we just kill all the enemies, or was this something I actually needed to do with? No, just kill all the enemies. Yeah, this game looks decent enough, but I just I never played much of it, so I'm not too familiar with it at all. And don't you dare fire me! I think there was something with... Oh, whoa, 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 whoa! That was the thing. So you can get rid of enemies that way. Uh, that looks like something I will... Uh, I will. Yeah, I'm, I'm more afraid that it will kill me much faster. <laughs> that, uh, that looks very dangerous to me. Hey there, uh, Bryden. Great to see you. Welcome to the stream. Probably uh, the bonus mechanics for the points. If, oh, don't you dare, buddy! For the uh, for the most points, you probably need to get rid of a little bunch of enemies in one go by destroying the land. But yeah, that just like uh, looks like something that will just kill me real fast. I like the music in this one as well. Kind of nice, uh, you know, continuation of the original simple tune. Just doing a bit more with it. That sounds uh, pretty cheerful. I should, I guess, try and destroy some enemies by. Uh, Oh no! Uh, what what probably happened there? There we go, finally. What probably happened there was they figured that Dig Dug was maybe a bit too basic for the NES, and they just tried to expand it a bit, and they were like, "Yeah, then let's just make a new game." <laughs> But yeah, this is uh, this is pretty neat. 
This uh, did this come out in the west as well? Don't you dare, buddy! And we should be able to get rid of them all, right? Yeah, look at me making bonus points. Sweet. Ah, Diglick was on the on the Famicom. Okay. Strange that that didn't uh, make the transition to the West because it was a pretty popular uh, arcade game. So it seems like a no-brainer to also port it over uh, to the West and let us enjoy it. Uh, 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 whoa, whoa, whoa. Where? Uh, oh yeah, there. Gig Duck too, and now we have Doughboy. Make some pizzas here. What is Doughboy? What the heck? I can imagine that uh, it being a favorite. It uh, was pretty. Ooh, it looked pretty cool, uh, Dick Duck too. What the heck is this, though? I can't shoot. Okay. Man, this is a flickering mess. Is it? Uh, I'm not, uh, not familiar with it, I don't think. Ooh, which, you know, there's so many. Man, I was stuck there. There's so many Commodore 64 games, so... Uh, yeah, that uh, that's what I mean uh, at. Like, TikTok was uh, popular in the West in the arcade, so it's kind of weird that they wouldn't... Uh, Make available the NES uh, port of it. Man, this this plays really badly. It's so choppy. Frame rate issues on an NES game. Imagine that. <laughs> there's no, there's no way you're gonna avoid stuff. Um, You have a big disadvantage too if you have no bullets at the beginning. Uh, dang it. Did I ever play the uh, Big Duck version on Commodore 64? I don't think I did. So I don't know if it's any good. Need to uh, refill my tea here. Hey, imagine that, I laid down the uh, the system and it didn't turn off for some reason. That's a first. Uh, yeah, not, not, not a really great game, this one. Um, but it was a port of a C64. It's not a, was it an official Famicom game? I hope not. <laughs> I can't imagine that. That that looks way too poor to be. Uh, Dragon. Uh, is that that shoot em up thing? Uh, easy? Probably hard enough for me. Oh, wait, whoa. Oh, it's snake. It, it looks like a fancy kind of snake. Uh, Dragon Force is, I think, the, the game I was actually thinking of. This, uh, this, this isn't too bad. Doughboy was an official game. Wow, I'm kind of surprised with that because it, uh, it didn't play great. Yeah, the music is pretty terrible uh, now you mention it. Uh, <laughs> luckily, I've turned it down quite a bit in my uh, in my headphones, so I can hear the chat more uh, properly. But uh, 
Yeah, that, that sounds uh, like someone randomly pressing some keys. Now there is a uh, rhythm in there, but it's not very good. Otherwise the game is decent enough, I mean, it's just Snake. Um, and what I do like... What I do like is that there is an object, although... Mm, oh, you have to actually go through the warp pipe. I mean, for what it's worth, can we actually... And you can just select whatever level you want to go. What's, uh, what's 35 like? MGH? Yeah, this, this doesn't look like fun anymore. <laughs> it does. Oh man. Uh, I, I do kind of like it when they have obstacles and such and give you a uh, objective in a snake game. Uh, but phew, this is uh, this is pretty. <laughs> this is pretty small spaces here, and I missed that. Oops, wrong way. Game over. All right, let's. Uh, oh, we can only go to forty. What? One hundred and ten? Are you nuts? They'll fill the entire screen. And the music did not improve. <laughs> it, it, it might have just gotten worse. <laughs> uh, yeah, let's, uh, let, let's not deal with this. Uh. Yeah, I... <laughs> I can imagine you get to, uh, you know, you 10 left and then you die and you get to do it all over again. No thank you. Uh, I don't have to, uh, enough patience for that. That's, uh... That's just rage quitting waiting to happen. Tower of Druaga? Druaga? I don't know. Sounds familiar. Nemco? But do I actually uh, recognize it? Uh, no. Uh, looks like a very basic, like, kind of dungeon crawler thing. Can we kill the slimes? Man, that... A sword swing is really slow. Yeah. <laughs> Should have. Man. Music is probably the best uh, asset in this one. Yeah, the sword swing, man. How do you actually kill stuff? Or do you need to walk into it uh, with, uh, with the sword out? Uh. <laughs> I imagine this also being an arcade game originally. I only recognize the name. Come here, you. There we go. We actually did a thing. Uh, yeah, that seems a bit... Uh, perspective is a bit weird. Going up and down. Uh, 
Um, I don't know if I actually want to play the arcade version. I don't know. Wait, is it is it a bit better than this? Uh, this this place uh, not very nice. Uh, I don't actually have a switch, by the way. Uh, never never picked one up yet. Maybe at some point. Uh, duck. Very. Uh, Uh, don't recognize this either. So we just get the egg to the bottom. This duck can jump. And we can go through here. Oh, don't do that. Did it drop too far or what? Yeah, so uh, th th let's not play that arcade game. And uh, yeah, this one is also a game I never... Never played this one, but I don't think I missed out too much. <laughs> oh, the line is uh, how far it can drop. Oh, don't, yeah, it squishes your egg. So I guess this is also kind of a puzzle game then. With some enemies, uh, so it's probably something that I could maybe enjoy. Oh, you can, huh? Okay, I see what we're doing. No. Uh, did I screw it up? I think I screwed it up. still okay man you always need to get used to uh, how these things work and what the actual rules are in these uh, little puzzle games like what you can do and such here we go now we should be safe right there we go so what are the hearts for Because it doesn't seem to be a hell for anything. Uh, yeah. No, no, no. Other way, other way. Uh, so let's take the heart, I guess. Is it just points? I don't know. This is a game I, uh, I, I, I can see myself uh, enjoying. Uh, I might have screwed up here. Because can I get past these dudes? Oh, well, we can. I have no clue if I'm 
even uh, playing this half efficiently? Probably not. <laughs> uh... Oh crap, yeah. One... That's kind of weird because you can jump over it, but you can't drop it. Uh, drop onto it um, because it seems like the same height. But yeah, that's uh, that's a decent game. Let's uh, let's see what we have uh, for the next one here. Or should we have a small little intermission and give Grizzo a bit of a snacky? Because he's been a good kitty. Let's uh, first put. Is it? Doki Foki Penguin Land? Uh, never heard of it. Should check that out, thanks. Ooh, elevator action. That's, uh, that's a pretty decent game, although... Is the NES version any good? Uh, I don't remember. You know, let's, uh, let's give Grizzo a small little snack here. Because uh, why not? And I need uh, a bit of a drink as well. Uh, let's, uh, let's try this stuff out. For your teeth. The few that you still have remaining. He had some uh, teeth removed. Yeah, it's coming. There you go, buddy. Enjoy. Let's have a bit of a tea here. Just a small little break here. <laughs> You're a cat, you know. You c yeah, there you go. <laughs> He's not the brightest of the bunch. Although, generally speaking, is actually uh, pretty smart, but sometimes you do wonder. Anyone uh, doing anything special this weekend? Well, or has done anything special? Oh, nice. It seems now that the uh, the actual connection seems pretty stable. I hope that will keep up. Uh, but do let me know if things drop out again. They already done. <laughs> uh, yeah, let's uh, let's move on. Love this music, by the way. OC Remix has some really cool uh, little mixes, and this is one of the better one for sure. Ah, thank you. Uh, let's, uh, let's go. So yeah, that, that that seems to be an improvement over the last few times, at least. So that's good to know. Uh, let's uh, move on. And now Griso woke up, which might be a problem. <laughs> elevator action! Um, didn't elevator action have this really cool uh, sequel? It was like high action, uh, another one from the top player. The cable has been behaving indeed. It's kind of kind of curious how last week it was such a pain in the ass. I even tried to find another cable. Uh, but of course that one didn't fit either. <laughs> um, but for some reason it's stable so far. Uh, no, I was thinking of a uh, uh, arcade game that was uh, elevator action. I think it was called the second two. Uh, crap, I forgot how to actually play this. Do you only need to go to the red door? Oops. I think there's an arcade game called uh, Elevator Action 2 or something. I don't remember, but it's really cool. Uh, oh man. Ah, that's Elevator Action Returns. Okay. Oh no, me elevator. Uh, 
how do I get... There we go. Don't need a stinking elevator. We make it escalator action. Uh, we can jump that, right? Uh, no, we cannot. <laughs> My man didn't jump far enough. Well, at least puts us uh, right here. Oh man! Please help! Please don't mess up the cable. Yeah, you put something underneath the computer, and now and now you don't have it anymore. Yeah, that that's life. Easy come, easy go. Uh, but yeah, elevator action, cool game. Not there anymore, Grizo. You push it far. Uh, yeah, I don't think I have elevation, uh, elevator action uh, returns on any system actually. Um, I just, I just remember it from the arcades and being uh, super impressed with it. Exit X, uh, what? Exit access? What the? Oh, it's an actual name. Is it a hack? Well, that went well. It's a bit of a uh, Xevious vibe to it, although, you know, that's just the shapes, uh, I guess. Let's give that away. Wow. Uh, find this one a bit hard to uh, to actually uh, see. I gotta say, not a fan of the music here. Not a fan of the music. What the heck? What, what are those? <laughs> well, that uh, that explains the music, I guess. <laughs> uh, yeah, 1942 is probably the better game. Pretty sure. What? High point area? What, what, what does that mean? Well, does that mean that we fly up in the sky or something? A lot of flickering as well here. Yeah. Everyone turned into are those strawberries? Orange strawberries? I don't know. <laughs> and okay. The end takes quite long, doesn't it? Oh, it's the end of the high area. Okay, I get you. Damn it. No, I don't think I want to continue. No, no, no. Uh, never played this one either, and it's definitely not one I uh, I don't think I will revisit anytime soon. Does the actual uh, game on the Famicom have that much flickering? I mean, there are quite a lot of sprites on screen, so it kind of makes sense, I guess. Um, yeah, 1942 has some flickering as well, I guess. Uh, Flappy. Is this a, uh, you know, just Flappy Bird? Is this like um, 
Do 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 do. What, what's uh, what's the? No, it's not. Uh, uh, what, what, what's the game called with the penguins? Uh, but yeah, this is not it. I've no clue what we are supposed to do. Do we need to push this into the glowy block? No, we don't push it in the glowy block. Uh, of course I have no clue again what to do. This kills me, right? Yep, it sure does. Or do you need to push the glowy block on... No, that's not... Is it? No. Can't do anything with that one. Uh, wait, it can go around and then... Uh, is that wise? I don't know. No, I need another one. Does it need to land on top of the uh, of of this block over here? I have no clue. And we got smash, smash, smashed. Uh, let's see. Uh, wh what's banana? Don't think I know that one. Oh, but this also doesn't work because now this one is stuck. Uh, don't know this one. How to play it? Uh, yeah, don't don't know banana either. I don't think. <laughs> It's really a poor show of what I actually do know, isn't it? <laughs> I'm the CDI guy. <laughs> Fruit, fruitish. Oh, this is this just a um, bejeweled clone, isn't it? Nope. Oh wow, this is even more basic. Just match the fruit. Oh wait, yeah, I need to actually. Change the thing then, huh? Uh, there we go. Riveting gameplay, this! Oh boy, this is truly amazing. <laughs> Does this uh, actually get harder? Like, you have multiple pipes eventually? I mean, that I could see make a bit more sense, but I guess we found an actual one license game again, finally. And, you know, interestingly enough, it actually works. That's, uh, that's always a, a plus with these things. Just not the most inspired game out there. <laughs> I mean, I feel like, uh, you know, like, like that kid that gets past that, that, that board with the different shapes and you push the triangle through the, uh, the square. <laughs> oh, now you've got 20 lemons to complete the level. Oh boy. And they still give 50 points a pop. Does uh, the B button actually go the other way? It does not button does nothing yeah very exciting I I am curious like does this eventually um, does this eventually get more difficult in any way like you know give you a second pipe and then a third pipe I mean that's the only way I can think of diversifying this kind of gameplay if it just after this level goes to um, 
for 30 lemons, then it, you know, then there is basically no challenge here. Maybe we will uh, find that one as well on this uh, thing. I don't know. You probably do. <laughs> if you mess up, does it actually detract a point? Nope. It's, there's no penalty other than uh, time loss. And you've got so much time. Yeah, maybe uh, maybe we'll find some of those better ones on here. Oh boy, two more to go. Yay! Yeah, there are actually two uh, two things. And it goes a bit faster. Okay, so, you know, I give it a bit credit that they at least do something with the concept. But you can't actually select the pipe, it's just, you know, the first one that comes out. So it's still kind of the same thing. Screw this game. <laughs> um... Oh, nice code and jungle tech are uh, different companies. Okay. Uh, well, the Pirate Game Boy, thank you very much that you've joined us. And, uh, well, take care, man. Always great to have you along and uh, give your expertise on this uh, this stuff here. Uh, where were we? Uh, elevator actually. Might be in Galk. Or as we say it in the Netherlands, Galk. <laughs> Uh, and the shooter. Also one that I don't recognize, but it seems uh, a bit better than uh, what we played previously. What is B? B is nothing. Yeah, this display is much more smooth. We can do that. Yeah, we're, we're testing the walls, guys. We're testing the walls. They are very solid. Very, very tough. <laughs> this is a basic shooter, but uh, pretty neat. It plays well enough. Power up, power up. Not sure what the power up actually did. Are those worms? Worms that shoot. Oh wow, the turbo button is uh, pretty awesome in this game. <laughs> Look at that. Usually they uh, they have that uh, kind of tactic in these kind of shooters. Uh, where you can only have so many shots on the screen at once. But here they, uh, they just have to... Uh, rip everything in front of you apart as long as you don't fly into the freaking bullets again a game i am not familiar with at all but uh, this one i actually uh, kind of like it's basic but uh, but good fun plays well it's dots here so you know it's nice to find one that actually is uh, Half decent again. I was kind of hoping for a bit more uh, complex games. I mean, this, this thing does have Super Mario Bros. 3 on the, on the freaking thing. And at the start it had some uh, decent complex platformers on there as well. But uh, now we're all, you know, only getting very, very basic games. Um, but basic games can still be fun too, of course. 
Wonder if there's an actual um, yeah area three. I, I suppose the left part actually uh, takes you to area two. That's kind of cool. Okay. Whoa! Did they uh, split the roots up like that? Yeah, this is a pretty nice game. A nice game. Never heard of it. Gulk. It's uh, that's a pretty good assumption, I think, uh, to front load the um, uh, the good games, <laughs> the best, the heavy hitters. Uh, would make sense. Also, uh, you know, kind of nice, so you don't have to screw through this freaking thing all the way through again and again. Uh, I do know there's also a whole bunch of doubles, unfortunately, we will run into at some point. Um, and at that point we will get through the games much and much faster, of course. Uh, Gaimos? 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 Uh, another one I don't know. I'm not familiar with. Oh, wait. Uh... Is this a heck of an another Famicom game? Uh, kind of has a uh, Buck Rogers uh, look to it. Was that an arcade game? I think it was. You can shoot downwards to the floor, and that's a lot of bullets. Holy crap. <laughs> ah, you can have the audio. Can you just use both buttons? Look at this. The the turbo button is, uh, is pretty overpowered yet again here. <laughs> it plays okay, but it's uh, it feels a bit slower again than it should. Um, I'm not sure how to explain that, but it, it just doesn't feel like at the right speed. Yeah, turbo button is a bit overpowered here. No worries, I will still manage to die, of course. How did I dodge that? What the heck? I flew straight into those bullets. Uh, yeah, and he was already shooting. Can we start at the boss? Otherwise, we'll just... Uh, nope, we're just doing the whole level again. Uh, no, thank you. Not... Uh, not the favorite one so far. Hey there, Microman. Yeah, well, goodies, goodness in, in quotations, huh? <laughs> uh, Gyrodyne? Doesn't ring a bell? On Taito, huh? Hey there, man. Hope you're doing well today. On this uh, pretty cool Sunday. Well, what's with the A shot? Oh wait, that's uh, that's shooting downwards, I think. This one you don't seem to need the auto fire because it has auto fire enabled by default. Uh, but the actual auto fire goes twice as fast. Man. One shot, huh? One shot. Looks like a Xevious kind of game here as well. Huh. Pressing uh, both buttons at once makes a rocket go out, huh? And I don't think you can actually kill this stuff. <laughs> they can kill me, alright. Okay, let's, uh, let's give this another try here. I want to blow up at least one enemy. There we go. Why are the shots so weird? Like, 
kind of has a momentum to it, but... Uh... Oh wow, they track you. <laughs> well, that took long. Takes you further back, huh? Oh, nice. But yeah, it, it like I go right and then I stop and it still shoots to the right. It says really weird. Oh wait, they don't track you. They uh, just can only shoot at um, uh, eight directions. That's, uh, yeah, this is so weird. Like. Even after you stop moving in a direction, it still s kind of is delayed when it actually starts uh, stops shooting in that direction. Wow! Well, actually, hit a ground unit. And they shoot me again. Uh, those bullets I find really hard to actually avoid. Uh, yeah, also not my favorite game. <laughs> Not many favorites today. Well, we've had some. We've had some. But uh, let's uh, let's check out Hexa. What is Hexa? Oh, columns. Great. What is? Uh, uh, does anyone know that uh, there was a game I played it on PC and it had a. It was kind of a. How do you how do you even explain that? It's kind of a um, we took turns and you took over each other's pieces, uh, but it was hexagonal and, and it was a lot of fun. It was pretty cool, um, and you could also jump over other pieces, like in uh, in in in, in uh, checkers to take them over. Well, the music is kind of on point, at least. You can hear what they were going for. I don't always say that. And yeah, that that, that makes me uh, remind on, on you know when you hear Hexa, I, I'm reminded of that uh, DOS game, and it was, uh, it was really fun. It was uh, it was quite popular uh, at my school, uh, you know, to to challenge each other with that hex uh, uh, hexagonal game. And man, what was it called? Uh, it was a purple board, I remember, and the balls were either blue or red. And uh, yeah, this is just basic columns. And yeah, why is this called hexa? Are there six different pieces? Maybe? No. Se yeah, it seems like six different pieces. I guess that's it. Maybe, and the the rows are six um, wide. Again, I've said this a million times. I'm not a uh, not a great columns player. I just uh, don't click with the game well. So uh, let's move on to uh, something. Hopefully, more interesting. Oh, that was kind of interesting. We already got the other columns game on this one as well, right? Uh, the jewels one, um, with the uh, the uh, Statue of Liberty. So it's kind of curious that they put on another one there. Although you know, I don't think there's much fault that actually went into these uh, uh, game selections here. Ice hockey. Uh, that's uh, a classic. I kind of want to say, but. Not a classic uh, I'm very familiar with, nor I'm very interested in. Uh, how can I select? Oh, just press start. Duh. <laughs> I don't know what the heck I'm doing. Oh, wait, there's a difference. Uh, like you have the skinny guy and the fatty and they all move a bit differently, isn't it? Uh, but whatever. 
the ice hockey is a classic, which is, you know, not, not one I'm very uh, familiar with myself. Ice hockey does not interest me at all. But others were just uh, <laughs> games on there as well. I mean, that's pretty fast, right? To score. Wrong goal, but you know, details, details. <laughs> Oh, no, you don't. How did I miss that? Wow, that really sucked too. Oh, never mind. Next game. <laughs> Man, every sports game, I, uh, I, I really make a terrible show. And Griso, that box is closed for a reason, that's because you wouldn't uh, be able to make a mess of things and now he's fighting with the box or trying to open it and get into there uh, for some extra treats. Um, I thought it was ice hockey but it was ice climbing. Also another crappy game in my opinion. Uh, lot lot. Is it a lottery game I can actually win at? Uh, what the heck is this? It is kind of a lottery game, isn't it? What? Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh wait, it's going where the green arrow is. Now I get ya. There we go, we made points. That's such a weird, weird game. Please, oh, please stop that. Oh, it, it, it moves. Oh, okay, now I get ya. It moves after you. So what's stopping you to from just staying here? Man, this is a weird game, isn't it? This cat, man. Uh, now where do we go? Oh wait, the top here. I have never seen this game, but it's uh, it's a very odd one. Someone managed to get into the box. Of course he did. Oh. And the lock and key.
Uh, where were we? There was Hexa, there was Lot Lot, then there is Ma uh, Mag Max. Mag Max. It reminds me of a CDI game uh, called uh, um, uh, uh, Max Magic, or was it Ma Magic Max? I don't remember. Uh, but it's probably nothing to do with magic. Uh, oh, wait, I recognize this game. I think this has like a uh, place where you go uh, down there as well for a different kind of shooter map, uh, if I remember correctly, and which could be very, very wrong. Is this a power? It doesn't look like a power. It is power. Okay. But I think somewhere you go um, uh, inside something or other, and you get to a different section. If I remember correctly. And the button is really nice once more. Hey there, Griso. Are you coming to announce your displeasure that you can't get into the box anymore? He's on the prowl now. He's not having any of it. <laughs> oh wait, there's Oh there's the there's the hole. Oh you're maybe not supposed to go in there. <laughs> it's actually a game I, I kinda remember for once. <laughs> our power up and then we lost our life. Well, it's an uh, interesting enough game. Nothing too special. Plays well enough at least. I do wonder if there are more kind of power up so because there only seems to be these two things here. Uh, and uh, speak of the devil, there we are. Now we are a walker bot thing who shoots out of his feet. <laughs> into that uh, stalactite. And the upstairs changed a bit, huh? Now we are at the uh, desert. Yeah, pretty decent game. Not sure what the point is of the, uh, the different areas going down or up, if that uh, matters at all. No clue. And there's a nice variety of enemies. Oh, very capable of uh, killing me, of course. <laughs> As per usual. There's a power-up. Nice. Oh, it's not a power-up, it's a block. <laughs> oh well. Live and learn. Live and learn. Still, prowling around being all disgruntled out of this severe lack of respect for catdom.
Pikachu. Which is uh, Tetris, I think. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just a basic hack of the... Uh... Well, is it a hack of the Tangent Tetris? Because there you can't select the different blocks, can you? Yeah, at least, you know, plays okay. Seen worse Tetris versions out there. Double the copyright infringement, indeed. Yeah. <laughs> wow, that those lines disappeared in a really strange way. Can you actually um, finagle that in there? Yeah, I like when they do that. Hate it when you have uh, the the newer ones tend to do that, where you can't reposition a block once it has landed. The moment it hits the 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 floor, it'll be stuck there. Sucks. <laughs> but generally speaking, you know, it's it's kind of hard to screw up Tetris. Kind of odd music for a Tetris game, right? As well, uh, very short loop as well. Not sure if they actually nicked that music from a other game. There's a bit of a dreamy uh, vibe to it. Um, but I don't recognize it, so I, I don't know. This doesn't have different levels, does it? Uh, well, it's, it does say level 1. So, I guess we need two more lines. Let's see what happens. Uh, absolutely nothing. <laughs> uh, that's awesome. Yeah, we should probably move on. I don't know, man. Uh, if I play Tetris, I usually uh, just enjoy it. <laughs> Even if it's a uh, double infringing version of it. Uh, but played well enough. Although, you know, no, the, the, the original, well, I guess semi-original, the uh, typical NES version. Uh, still my favorite on the system. Over the 10 Gen 1, even though the 10 Gen 1 does allow you to play with two players. Ninja 2, uh, we played that on the different, uh, on the other consoles. Is the same? It is. Or did we, no, we played it on this one, didn't we? Uh, but yeah, we played this. And it was not very good. Uh, we might be heading into our doubles right now. Uh, or not this cubic? What the heck is that? Uh, this looks like uh, yeah, the, the the same game we played before, but now we're the penguin thingy. This is the original Famicom version, where previously we had the uh, uh, the Western version. The, uh, the, the, the cherub one. That was the one. Yeah! But yeah, this, uh, we've seen this. It's pretty much the same game, just different sprites. Oh, 
Oh, it's a ghost, not a penguin. Okay. <laughs> didn't uh, didn't even see that. Uh, where were we? Here we are. Uh, on Onya Onyanko town doesn't ring a bell. Second arcade conversion of this game. Okay, so we open the potholes and then we can trap stuff in there, I suppose. Huh? They, they. Don't do that. <laughs> how do I always find out the first thing I do is how to lose the game? <laughs> I've not discovered the object yet. Ah, damn it. Yo, going to... There we go. Ooh, cars. Cars are, uh, seem dangerous. They make you, uh, they make you flat real good, real fast. Buddies, wanna come over here? No? How do you... Gotta be more to this, right? Oh, he went the other way. He saw that pothole and he was like, nah. I ain't going in there. And I missed that one. Great. Oh, no. Uh, get the frick. Got a bit crowded there. Uh, I don't. Uh, I don't think we will see uh, the level two here either. <laughs> it's the object just capturing these. Uh, what the heck are they even? And something was here that now disappeared. You collect that, I have no clue. Oh, we've got, a, we've got two now. Where are you buddies? Come here. Good. Oh wow, you get the extra bonus points for uh, trapping two at once. They like dogs. I don't really tell what they are supposed to be. Oh, that looks like something I can pick up, right? Lots of points. Car? Lots of points. There we go. Come here, buddy. You know you want to. Oops. How did that one survive that? What? Ah, I thought I could, uh, that, that is also, that, yeah, now it disappeared, what the heck was that? I guess some random termite, uh... Nope, too late. And you seem to actually need to close the holes, oh no, you get points without actually closing it. So, uh, are we doing good or what? I mean, I'm still not sure what the actual object is here. We kept... Whoa! 
That dude came out. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm not sure if uh, I felt like we were doing well, but then nothing happened. Oh well. Here come the stupid spam bots. Uh, Backland. I never, uh, I never even knew there was a Packland on the NES. Never knew Packland was on the NES. It's uh, kind of interesting. Uh, not a great game. In we can also go back. Not an amazing game in general, I don't think. The controls really weird. Whoa. Like A and B make you move, and uh, left and right make you jump. Or well. Down and up as well, but yeah, basically every every direction. Break time. Yeah, it's kind of weird that so many uh, pretty popular arcade games only got ports in Japan, and they it seems like such a no-brainer to also bring them to the West. We were crazy about those uh, those arcades. But surely those games would have done well. Oh man, that 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 thing didn't move uh, far away. Uh. You got me good. That, that might be the issue indeed. Um, I mean, could kind of say that. Mm. I mean, it's, it's so easy to, in hindsight, to to disagree with that statement. Like it didn't make it look weak, but I, I guess back in the day that was a valid argument for them, maybe. Like, no, we need to steer away from arcade games and just give them proper games uh, for the West. And uh, avoid games like uh, the Atari 2600, because, you know, the video game crash was mainly a thing in, uh, in America as well. So, I, I guess it kind of makes sense to want to steer away from that. Pachikom? What's this? A uh, Pachinko game. Awesome. Of course, there had to be one of these. <laughs> Are you actually... Uh... Yeah, that's right. Sony was so weird with uh, with with 2D games in the beginning of the uh, PS1. Well, not even in the beginning. Quite a long while. Wow, this I I, I don't even know how to <laughs> look. I even managed to fail at a pachinko game. Awesome. Uh, but yeah, they were so weird. Like everything had to be 3D. If it wasn't 3D, it didn't count. And that's a shame because, uh, you know, that's one point where uh, where the Saturn probably won out big time. Like, 
Attack of the Launch titles. There was uh, what was that shooter? Um, there was there was a very early two D shooter, two uh, D, which was kind of like uh, Metal Slug, but well, different. Uh, it was pretty decent. Freaking hard to find nowadays. Okay, now we did, and then it stops working again. I don't really understand this. Yeah, to be just in general, I think age is much better than um, oh, it's, it's the cat, uh, than 3D. So it's it's kind of a shame they were so adamant that it's not allowing that stuff on there or just not supporting it at all. Uh, real shame. Pro wrestling, who uh, don't like wrestling. Uh, games. Uh, no clue which wrestling games were the good ones. This looks really basic. It has some some speech in there. That's that's kind of cool. Wow, this looks. I have no clue. Can you even? The CPU uh, seems to know how to play alright. Uh, I have no clue what the heck I'm doing. I'm, I'm trying buttons, but nothing seems to really work. Well, quickest wrestling match ever. <laughs> uh, yeah, not. I, I just I can't assess these games. I just don't jive well with any wrestling game. Well, that that might be a win then. <laughs> Um, although the Metal Slug games, I'm not actually sure which ones uh, are the best. Uh, I do really like them, but I haven't played them enough to really, to really uh, uh, tell them apart more. So I, I don't know which one is actually better, free. But I'm pretty sure four and five together is a better deal than just only three. Uh, are there any bad Metal Slug games? Uh, apart from the 3D one, which wasn't that great, uh, if I remember correctly. Pyramid! Let's see what Pyramid is. Uh, very weird Tetris shaped kind of clone, and was that some synthesized speech as well? Is it? Is it? Do we need to make lines? I guess we need to make lines. Wow. What? 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 How? What? Metal Slug is pretty difficult. Uh, yeah, it's not like uh, I can one credit that. Uh, <laughs> either. That's uh, that is a feat. It is very difficult, but it's just a spectacle to play. Do we even get long pieces in this? I don't know. Uh, the, these these triangle shapes they uh, they don't work in my brain uh, for Tetris. <laughs> they are not allowed. Oh, there's a long piece. Well, more of a stubby piece. But yeah, there we go. Man, I can't, I can't play with these shapes. 
It is. <laughs> it doesn't. It doesn't work in my brain. Especially these shapes. Uh, yeah, they they suck. to keep him uh, laying flat but that's not possible uh, yeah not uh, not really sure what they were thinking when they come over this one let's uh, let's move on they had a rule in the NS that ports of PS1 games no changes could not be add sold on the PSP and PSP PS2 that 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 sounds I mean what do you mean with with no changes like an early remaster uh, yeah Sony made some dumb dumb decisions uh, still some really cool classic uh, I, I mean I, I love PlayStation but uh, yeah in hindsight uh, they, they could have done a bit more uh, because nowadays it, it, it's just like the 2d games were really lacking now I am very partial towards the kind of 3d that uh, the PlayStation does so I'm not too um, bitter about it but yeah it, it's something that uh, Saturn really had, uh, had had more of a proper selection in 2d sprite based games uh, route 16 turbo let's, uh, let's do some racing sunsoft huh uh, easy sounds good. Oh, this is uh, this is more like uh, Rally X kind of. What the heck? Huh? Bomb thing? What was this? Money bag. I like money bags. Uh, this is also a game I have never seen. Let's avoid the dude. Nothing we can really do against these dudes, can we? Uh, you mean all the blue discs on PS2? <laughs> There's some good games in there, but man, those things uh, tended to crap out easy. Man, I've never seen this game. Uh my question mark turned into a freaking bomb. Oh well, not much loss there. Those Phoenix games, my goodness, they are something else. <laughs> something, uh, something quite terrible. Ah oh, man. Especially in the later uh, period of the PS2, there was some crap release for that, like. Well, I guess the Wii did have uh, its own share of shovelware. <laughs> yeah, I don't uh, never seen this uh, Route 16 Turbo. Is that the actual name, or is that just a uh, hacked version of something else? Looks like an arcade port as well. Kind of, a, kind of a cross between Berserk and uh, not Berserk. What was the other game where you actually go into the rooms? Uh, and you have a map as well um, and then uh, Rally X there were also in the later years some really awful sports games like the action uh, action titles 
and they had all kinds of crap like every sport got a uh, 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 a, a treatment from them and it was all pretty 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 bad uh, Cycross? Yeah, Cycross Yeah, venture. This uh, this game. Thank you. Where you uh, go in the different rooms. And, uh... It's kind of cross between that and uh, and 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 Rally X. Uh, also, don't vaguely recognize this game, but never really played it myself. Actually, supposed to pick up the man. I think we need to pick up the man. I think we're also almost out of energy. Well, never mind. This is a weird game. And we did a dying. <laughs> This was uh, this was on the NES, like not just uh, Famicom exclusive for once. Oh, I'm a star. I'm not sure what the star does, but stars really, really mean good things. I don't think I know Scooter Shooter. Cool name though. These things seem to be energy. Yeah, the, the, the Paul library is fairly small compared to the uh, US uh, library, unfortunately. We missed out on a lot of games. There's, uh, there's only a few Paul exclusives. Uh, most of them not really worth it either. some reason the Disney games uh, got released really late over here like uh, uh, Aladdin and uh, the Lion King I think Lion King was actually the last commercial game released on the NES over here and it's not very good <laughs> slalom uh, boy more sports let's uh, let's go skiing or not. Yeah. Mr. Nasty. <laughs> uh, let's go for a snowy hill. That sounds, that sounds safer as Mr. Nasty. Uh, yeah, I do recognize the looks of this. Uh, Should go faster. Do you need to? I mean, slalom. I'm. <laughs> Didn't want to land on top of you, dude. It's again a game I do kind of recognize the graphics of, but never played. Seems kind of okay. I mean, much more accessible than an actual uh, 
uh, skiing game like a lot of those skiing games uh, in the early days they are rough man um, because they tend to be on those uh, isometric uh, uh, slope things uh, not behind the back like this one which was you know more of a 3d thing Because of that, those earlier ones, I find them very hard to, to control. But this uh, this seems very playable and really, uh, yeah, plays, plays kind of nice. And I suppose it will get more difficult. Also pretty cool music. Yeah, there we go. The, the, the slalom gates, I guess you could call them, get a bit smaller. Yeah, it's real colorful, kind of reminds me of uh, Buggy Boy in a way. Which also has those flags. Uh. <laughs> I'm not doing too hot here. Do you get penalized, uh, penalized for missing too many gates, or is it just uh, some some slowdown you suffer? If you uh, miss them all together, then it doesn't seem to slow you down that much. Uh, but yeah, we out of time. Or does it uh, give you a time penalty? That's also possible. Hmm. Oh wow, it's uh, the Big Dipper. <laughs> it had eight tracks per mountain. Hmm. I, yeah, I like this one. gonna play again because I like it like the music uh, not sure if this one came out in Europe possibly looks like a uh, early NES game but also quite possibly that uh, of course we uh, we looked out again in the uh, in the West which would be unfortunate with this one I think jump over the over the dudes any s exclusive even uh, man uh, yeah I like this one it's just uh, you know what you think about when you think uh, early NES games these quick um, easy pick up and play games um, but Still having some teeth to, to get through. I mean, I imagine Mr. Nasty is quite difficult. <laughs> to master. Um, but let's see if I can actually manage to quickly learn enough to actually make it through the second stage. Which, you know, shouldn't be too difficult, right? It's only the second stage. seem to give you a time penalty oh 
Oh, missed that gate. Big surprise, big surprise, not really. <laughs> Oh no, we're running out of time. Man, so close. So close, we can we can almost see the finish line there. Uh, man, yeah, I'm going to uh, try this one uh, later on, I think, because this is, uh, this is pretty cool. It was a nice one. Great to have uh, some, some decent ones now and then. I need to... Uh, Refresh my eyeball a bit here. The stuff got uh, gets fucked up a bit. <laughs> uh, there was slalom, then there's soccer, which is probably basic uh, NES soccer. Yeah, it's what we uh, also had on the other game these these dudes actually look normal at least keep saying like uh, world cup is my favorite nes uh, football game but as i noticed last time i do kind of like the the way they do it with the uh, um, i do the stuff what oh no you turn into the keeper as well. Uh, I do kind of like the way the uh, uh, scoring works in this one. But man, it's kind of slow. Luckily, their keeper went out of the way as well. Thank you, buddy. Much appreciated. Uh, yeah, and I, I never played this one... Uh, Back in the day. My dude is stuck again. Is this supposed to happen? Oh no! Shoot the freaking ball! Don't throw it! <laughs> uh, yeah, don't, don't. <laughs> Use the B button there, I suppose. Um, yeah, j j just a bit of a slow football game this, and it's kind of weird that you control the player and the keeper at the same time. Oh, yeah, now I need the dude stuck again. What? Ah <laughs> oh, man, yeah, that's so annoying that you are the keeper and the player at the same time. That's so weird. Uh, but yeah, probably something you can get used to. I don't know. Uh, for some reason, the other hex version played better. <laughs> it's kind of weird. I'm not supposed to be like that. Uh, let's see. some some uh, and this is probably the last list we will do today uh, because it is getting quite late so you know after star luster we'll call it quits but still some games uh, some 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 what? Uh, another game I do not recognize at all Um, although, <laughs> isn't this the game that, uh, the, the game from Game Center CX was based on? I think that's, uh, that this one, right? The one mini game in there with the ninjas. Yeah. <laughs> 
That is pretty okay. I will collect all the stuffs. And I turned into carrots. <laughs> Ninja life is tough, man. <laughs> Before you know it, you, you turn into a carrot. Don't you? I think the different colors mean a different level. I don't know. Maybe? Maybe? Oh, and now they start shooting. Okay. Whoa, they take a lot of hits here. What? what what's happening? What's with the music? Whoa! Don't shoot at me, bro. Just uh, chill out. What's we do a shooting of you? Where did you get the? No, I don't think. Whoa. No, 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 you don't. We didn't actually kill the last dude. Is that a problem? Probably just bonus points, right? I kind of like this game. Uh, as you could probably tell. Yeah, there, there's the level numbers, I think. Uh... This is a pretty cool game. Never played it? Uh, but I'm pretty sure this is the game that uh, one of the mini games in uh, uh, Game Center CX for the DS was uh, based on. So it played much the same. Anyway, let's uh, move on. Because uh, this seems uh, not too hard as I have not died yet, which is usually a sign that it's fairly easy. Uh, and it seems. Uh, Stream currently has a bit of trouble keeping up again, which kind of sucks. Not sure how to. I really need to look into that. But uh, in the meantime, I'm just going to go on and uh, see what game comes next. Uh, but yeah, once again, sorry if it uh, has some hiccups uh, now and then. Not really sure what's causing that. Spartan X! Uh, I think we played this on the other device. Yeah, it's just uh, Kung Fu Master. Play that on the other thing. Man, we're getting far into it uh, now. Spelunker. Ooh, Spelunker kind of sucks. Right, this is Spelunker, right? It's uh, like the uh, uh, kind of um, pitfall adventure thing where you easily die, like so. Uh, there we go. Get, get on the rope. There we go. Yeah, you. <laughs> You can't uh, fall down very far. Uh, I don't like this game. Look at that! Dead! Damn it! 
And already game over. Let's, uh, let's give it another go, I suppose. <laughs> Uh, not the best game out there. I uh, didn't like it. Alright. So far so good. Get on the thing. There we go. And jump off. Is this safe, the bomb? It is. No! Don't jump off right away. Your little legs aren't built for that stuff. There we go. Go in the elevator. Get away, you... Uh, what did I do? That didn't help. <laughs> um... I know there's uh, speedruns of this game and it's completely nuts. Oh yeah. Need to jump over the tiny tiny hole that's there. Damn. <laughs> yeah, we keep remaining in the red there. It's quite annoying. And it is really a bitrate issue, so there must be something with the uh, with the connection. Uh, really frustrated about that. Yeah, let's see what we have next. Um, spy vs. Spy, uh, a classic, <laughs> but. Not a game I'm very good at. <laughs> but yeah, it's uh, it's Spy vs. Spy. Um, can be kind of cool with uh, with two play. Is this the actual music for it though? No, right? The, 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 this, or am I just remembering it wrong? I don't remember. Uh, probably. Uh, but yeah, the spy versus spy. Uh, most fun with two players, I think. Uh, Scoon. What Scoon? Uh, I don't know. Uh, never seen Scoon. Whoa, get out of here, Orca. Are the, is the text going to get uh, out of the screen at some point, or... Ah, uh... oh, there we go. <laughs> Man, those things, uh, they have a pattern. Oh, do the orcas not kill you? No, they don't seem to uh, to bother you. <laughs> I still missed. Freaking egg. <laughs> uh, let's give this one another try. Looks pretty decent. And what is this? Irem. Ah, oh, yeah, yeah. Because it kind of reminded me of uh, In the Hunt. So it makes sense uh, that this is from Iron. Uh, I mean, why not? What's the point of this? Huh. But man, that intro takes really long. Oh, we collect this stuff? Okay. Uh, don't, don't pick up the glowy things. The glowy things are death. 
<laughs> yeah, this uh, this is a pretty neat shooter. Uh, again, one I have never seen before. Ugh. Right in the face. Another one. Uh, what? Where did it, Oh, we need air. Fuel. We need fuel. How do we get fuel? Yeah. Nope. This fuel? <laughs> uh, I don't know what the heck I'm doing. Oh yeah, the glowy bits, I think those are mines, I guess. Don't fly into those or drive into those. Like Mr. Orca just did, or did I shoot him? I don't know. weird patterns uh, which you can get used to of course but uh, uh, not this fast but yeah this is another nice uh, little experience here I do like this one and uh, yeah the stream is uh, I'm not sure what's happening with the stream it's uh, it's it's uh, it's it's all crept out. It's full in the red right now. Um, so you know, I'm sorry. Not sure if anyone is still out there, but uh, we'll we'll see. Uh, we've only have uh, one more game for tonight anyway, which is Star Luster. Uh, let's check this one out and see. Uh, is this another shooter? Maybe training command adventure. Uh, training might be good. Oh boy. Uh, this is kind of interesting that's in here. Uh... Oh, that will make sense. To uh, drop off the dudes at the, at the boat. Um, yeah, those those IRM shooters are kind of cool. Uh, I'm glad to hear that someone is still on there. <laughs> I really need to look into what the heck's uh, happening with uh, uh, my connection. Man, this looks uh, this looks pretty cool. Another game I have uh, I don't know at all. Uh, I didn't even know Mco made these uh, kind of simulation games, uh, but this looks pretty fluid in the movement. It's always really hard to figure out these kind of games real fast, as to what you need to actually do and stuff. Um, you know, and even the 2D games are hard enough for me to actually figure out what the heck I'm doing. <laughs> so let alone these uh, kind of semi simulation games but this looks very fluid this is also not a type of game you really um, 
associate with the NES? Uh, what, what's the... Is that a P? What's the P do? Man, that's a very... What do you... Uh, uh, video pucky kind of selection sound there. <laughs> Yeah, I have no idea what uh, what what to do is with that uh, connection of mine. Should be good. Should be stable enough. Costs enough per month. So what the heck? <laughs> um, I think th that's like a visual cone, maybe a triangle. I'm not entirely sure. A button doesn't seem to do anything. It's also select. Oh, then you can go to another area and pause, okay. Alright. <laughs> Thanks, man. Uh, I was just curious because it's... Uh, <laughs> OBS is, is, is in the red. Um, well, it's starting to get up there again. Oh well, it is what it is. Uh, yeah, well, how do I get to the dot thing? Or is this what you need to get to last? I don't know. Let's go to uh, to E. E was a shooty shoot. Uh, shooty shoot is fun. And why is the one E lighter than the others? Or, well, one is actually dark. Others, I suppose. But that doesn't sound good. Shooty shoot! There we go, shooty shoot. actually dodge something for once probably by mistake you know just a bit of luck <laughs> uh, where are you buddy where are you there you are oh it's one of those big orb things really no clue how the radar really works yet Going away. Seem to be getting there again. No, nope, it's going the other way again. Oh, I really have no clue how to work this radar. Uh, Coming into view. There we go. Yeah, so it is a cone, but it's it's we are moving a three-dimensional plane here. So how does that work exactly? Anyway, uh, let's do some more shooty shoots. All systems are okay still. And now OBS is full in the green again. I really have no clue. Seems like just sporadically it just craps out for a bit and then it's okay again. Uh, that doesn't blow up. Why the this was a dark E, so maybe this is a refueling station? Oops. Uh, What's this? Base lock on. Okay. 
What's that? Yeah, that's a resupply uh, station. Okay, that's cool. So, uh, what was P? Because there was a blip there. So far, I uh, I do kind of enjoy this game. Pretty interesting stuff here. And this is a more complex game for sure. At least it feels a bit more complex than, you know, single uh, screen affairs we've found mostly. Uh, but yeah, I can speed up, so then we should be able to track this thing down. Let me pass it, I think. <laughs> Oh, it's another station. Okay. Maybe we'll get a special weapon. Because this one did say P, right? Supply complete. Nope, it's just refueling. Okay. Well, let's uh, finish up the two lighter E's. I just noticed that I forgot to actually remove the uh, USB cable there for uh, charging. Oh well, at least we didn't run out of batteries. <laughs> Maybe that's why the uh, vision, the visuals are also a bit more stable because it has constant power. Hmm. If that's the case, then that battery is kind of useless. Uh, but yeah, that is a change that we have compared to last time where uh, I had it on the battery, a full charge. Curious. Uh, next time we will need to uh, test it out. Just because. Science. Refuel station seems to come back right after you visited, so that's cool. Uh, this is the training mission, so, you know, it's not supposed to be hard, I suppose. blow up the orb before the other dudes do we win the sector as well now we still need to kill them if they want to stay because they keep disappearing quite fast there we go there's one and there's one more Ugh. missed him again oh but he flew into a shot or something and yeah, the creepo Uh, yeah, this is a pretty cool game. I uh, like it. Um, that's, uh, that's a big fanfare for just... <laughs> uh, what's my rank? What's my rank? Oh, it's down there. <laughs> to that, huh? Oh, okay. Not so great. <laughs> Um, I, I'm kind of command and adventure. It's adventure like. Whoa, that's a lot of stuff on the, the radar. Uh, yeah, let's save that for another time. But I think I will actually uh, check this out some more uh, later on because it, it does look very interesting. But uh, yeah, I'm going to uh, 
call it quits for today because it is uh, getting quite late and I am kind of feeling it and uh, this deserves some milk again although do you deserve it you, you did start thieving just now didn't you <laughs> And uh, yeah, I, uh, I thank you all very much for watching once again. Uh, it was uh, it was fun. We had some uh, some great games in there this time around. And uh, I do hope you enjoyed the stream, dude. It's over here. <laughs> uh, so yeah, thank you very much for watching. Um, on Wednesday, I think I want to try and start actual uh, completion of games. So. Um, the next time we will be checking out the remainder of this system is actually next Sunday, next week. And on Wednesday I am thinking oh, if the CDI, if I can coax it into working enough, uh, I probably want to make a start on the seventh guest and uh, go from there. Uh, just completing actual games and uh, keep the Sundays for, you know, these kind of short runs through games where you try out different things um, anyway I do hope you enjoyed this one and uh, once again thank you very much for watching and I hope to see you guys uh, next time and until then take care bye bye for now the muzzle